because the Sunday's pay-per-view. But um, the main thing was then the uh, gauntlet match at the end. There's only yeah. two matches. Yeah. I had the whole show. But it popped up in memory of uh, Pedro. Yeah, Morales. He was like an old wrestler. Really, really old wrestler. Yeah. Uh, I, I have never heard. Neither have I. But it started off SmackDown. It was just pretty much Charlotte. Just was, talking crap. She was just saying how Vince let her in the match at WrestleMania. And saying, oh, maybe I'll put it there. Somebody saying Becky will come out. No, no, she doesn't. All right. Just straight up her just boasting and saying, oh, this is good for me. And everybody, yeah, you can boo me all you want. I'm still going to WrestleMania. And boo-hoo, Charlie ain't getting nothing. Yeah. And then she's like, she's going to be front row at Ronda and um, Ruby Riot's match at Elimination Chamber. Yeah, let's watch uh, Let's watch uh, Becky Lynch show up and beat her up. And she's pretty much saying that, we'll see, will she have a new opponent or whatnot? And then at the end she's like, wink, wink. Yeah, to get intel. So, and then she left. I mean, I kind of am a little... Mad that Charlotte's there. That's yeah. like it's like Becky got screwed like Ron does. That's yeah. what it is. But I, I, what will go up if it's a triple threat match? That's what that, will go that'll up. Be... Even um, Luge said that too. Oh, why don't, don't we just tell? Why don't we tell them about the news about D, uh, Dean Ambrose? What news? That WWE lied saying that he was. That gonna... was just a thing on YouTube. I don't know if that's real. Um, news. But, um, the first match really was a triple threat to a woman tag team, and it's the loser starts the match at the champ. So, Carmella and Naomi versus Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. The Fabulous Glow. And Fabulous Glow, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when they came out, they were both wearing their... For uh, robes and they're oh, all me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feel the glow. and then iconics. And of, of course, course they're sitting there like looking at the belts. Belts. Eh. I don't like them. Yeah. But both losers. of course, whoever loses for loses the match ends up gonna start the match with Sasha and Bailey. But that match it was, it, was, it was okay, match. It was okay. Um, the best part of it was Carmella and, and yeah, Carmella and Naomi was really, really good at that match. They actually showed out that they could actually be tag team partners. I'll be, I'll be happy if they won. And they actually yeah. won tonight. Yeah, they they pinned Mandy Rose, so it will be Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville starting with Bailey and Sasha. So, and then of course after the match, the Iconics attacked Naomi and Carmella. Yeah, so yeah. losers. Why? Why would you? At least you. At least you don't start the match, Iconics. Right? Yeah. You should be happy that you're like probably in the mid or towards the end. That's um, like the best part of it. If you're going for like a, the a tag team match, kind of like that. Who would who who would you want to win the women's elimination chamber? I mean, I would probably say Sasha or Bailey or Naomi and yeah, Carmella. I it's agree. A, it's a pity that Iori, uh, Io and Kari aren't in it. Well, they're in NXT. It should be open to any women's ta uh, tag team division. I don't know. I mean, why limit yourself to just Raw and SmackDown? I mean, why you can't, like... Because if you're going to have the title... But here's the thing. The title is going to Raw and SmackDown teams. Why not just throw NXT in the middle so that the next time where you can do another tag team uh, tag team match for those belts, it goes to the winner's brand? Um, It'd be way better. But, so is that. And then you have... It's like a Miss TV thing with Miz and Shane. And of course... Was it Miz O'Mac? Miz O'Mac. Or... I don't know. Mac Miz TVs. 
something stupid. But yeah. anyway, they're like, let's take bring out our opponents, the Usos, and the oh, Usos yeah. are pretty much saying if they do Miz and do Miz and Shane's train together, do they? They're do saying they, that, do they do this? Do they do that? They're saying that the Usos are a real tag team. Miz and Shane are just there for just the publicity. Yeah. Which technically it is. And then pretty much Shane was like, we'll see you at the chamber this Sunday. And then they end up being in a fight, right? No. Then they go to a the fight? Uso just ki- the Usos just kicked them. They both kicked Miz and Shane and left. Still counts yeah. as a fight. You just started a fight. So well, we have to see who wins that. Ah! Yeah. It's probably going to be Miz and Shane because they just got the title. So they're probably going to retain it. Yeah. Or the Usos, they might win, but I think it's a shame, so. Yeah. So let's just go for our main event. And the main event? It was oh, a yeah. gauntlet match, and the winner is the last in the chamber. Of course, first you got Dana Bryan. Well, you got to correct you there. What does he call himself now? New Dana Bryan. And he first talks, he's just talking, saying pretty Fickle. much. Fickle, fickle, you shouldn't be in this match. I shouldn't even be in the uh, elimination chamber. I gotta sacrifice. Yeah, I gotta sacrifice. Fickle, 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 fickle. I don't even want to be in it. Let me take a a smoke out of my new belt, my weed belt. (laughs) And then, because Mustafa Ali is injured and can't be in the chamber, one of the New Day members... Is taking his place. Taking his place in it. First we thought it was Xavier Woods, but then Kofi's like, oh, they got this. Kofi, Kofi Kingston. Yeah, he 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 did pretty good. Oh, yeah. He beat Daniel Bryan. He beat Jeff Hardy. He beat Samoa Joe. But then Samoa Joe, being a sour, pa- a sour patch kid that he is, was still beating up Kofi even after he lost. Then AJ Styles shows up. Yep. yep. I just, I just, this is how it was. I was like, okay, he... Beat Dana Bryan. Well, when it was Dana Bryan and Kofi, um, oh, Rowan did something to Kofi, which made the other New Day members go out. Rowan, and then Rush like, get out, New Day, go, go, go. Didn't kick out Rowan yet, but then, um, like a couple of minutes later, Rowan threw Kofi in the freaking area, like where the ring area, the ring announcer is. And then ref notices, how does Kofi get over there? How did he get over there? You know what? Ow! Yeah, Rowan gets to get kicked out. So, and then that's what makes Kofi do some kind of move. No, the thing was Trouble Paradise, right? Yeah. Yeah, Trouble Paradise for the win. So, he beat Dan Ryan. So, Dan Ryan's not last member. So, it's Jeff Hardy. And Kofi. Ding, ding, ding. First Kofi, of course. Both people that do all the flips and sh- uh, flips and suicide dives and all that in their careers. And then Kofi be him. And then you're sitting there thinking, Samoa Joe comes out, you're sitting there thinking, oh, he's done, Kofi's done. But for some reason he did some via roll-up move and what's kind of looked a little weird looking. Like it was a setup. Yeah. But like Joe was supposed to lose. And Joe, Joe was all like, what? What? And he puts him in a clean clunch, and when AJ Styles comes out, he has, has to take him off in a loop. Yep. Told he was out for a while. And Styles is like, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Just stop. You don't have to do this. And Kofi's like saying, I want to do this. I want to. This is my moment. I finally get it. This is my moment. And he actually gives him it. But AJ Styles yeah, wins. AJ Styles and that is not. Oh, yeah. And here's the thing. You knew who was going to be it. I knew this was happening with two minutes left of the freaking SmackDown. Randy Orton comes out. Doesn't RKO. There you go. Wonder RKO out of nowhere. Bloom. Then that pretty much was SmackDown, really. Yeah. Yep. It was intense and interesting. It was I mainly like that, but um, I think Dana Bryan's probably going to retain the title. Of course. Because he just, he just got it, so... I mean, I could be wrong. I would like to see probably Samoa Joe, if anything, because he's a... Or Kofi, he never had it. 
Someone had never had it, so I'll probably say Kofi or Joe. I don't think Jeff already had it. He only in it well, does the past kinda of like Yeah the past counts. I don't know. I know, I know, I know he probably Jeff's had the hard, I think he had the hardcore belt or something. But, yeah. So, that was pretty much SmackDown, so, yeah, let us know how you like SmackDown. What do you guys think's yeah. gonna be for the... Yeah. Excited for cheaper. the Elimination Chamber hey. on Sunday? Yeah, excited? I am. Let's just see. I just mainly want to see the woman tag team. So, yeah. Bye. Bye. And now for two or five oh, live. Yeah. Recap. Not much on us either. Yeah, really short. Just better than the uh, main event was pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, let's see. We got Lucha Lato first Jack Gallagher. Lucha Lucha. Yeah, Lucha Lucha. Lucha Lucha. Yeah, yeah. that's freaking awesome. Of course, he had a break. Talk about how what happened with Elias. Oh, death with Elias. <laughs> and they were gonna let Graham Mantilly sing, and right before he sings, he got interrupted by Jack and Drew coming oh, out. Yeah. And oh man, that match. Eh, it was back and forth action, but I mean, it was an alright right match. It wasn't like. Yeah, even though Jack Calher won with a slam pin to the ground. Yep. He's like just, yeah. Look at Drew. Yeah. Yeah, it's all dug up <laughs> on his chest. It was, oh my god. And then there was like, um, there was this thing with Humberto, Humberto Carrero. It was an interview. He pretty much, because he was asked about the you know, main wrestlers about training them he was just saying well i have to listen i have to listen to the best wrestlers to, so they can train me i have yeah. to yeah so yeah and then aria davari popped up and he's just pretty much saying when he's champ you're gonna respect him pretty much really 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 that was that and then it popped up my canals and Maria Canales. Oh, yeah. Kissing and yes. then, oh my god. Yeah. And then it's just, Maria's doing most of the talk. She's just, just like, every loss is a step to success. We bet Lennon's. Lennon's are made of a match. When it comes, you'll be, you'll be saying Mike. Yeah. So. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, they're losers. And then it went to the main event. No, I'm Dar versus Tony Nese. Ab Jagger. And you and said Spaceman. Spaceman. <laughs> well, he like, knows what you said. I know. <laughs> but yeah, but really, Ab Jagger? Really? What? <laughs> when did he are? It was a no DQ match. I mean, this match, this match was really good. This it was, was everywhere. It was chairs, there was tables. Dar had like a mark on his arm and his back from all the weapons. They this they both took in so much. They just took yeah. so much. Put him right in the arm in, in the chair, but crushing it. Yeah. They went through. He picked him up and put him through the table. Yeah, now it's table. That was awesome. It was like. It was awesome. And then at the end, big huge. And then. Tony Nice won. We know I'm Dar. So, and that's that. That that what match was really. In. It was really good. I would I would rate that like five out yeah. of five. Yeah, it's been a while since it really did some kicked it up a notch. Yeah, and then couple like 10 minutes left of 205 Live, you have the contract signing with Akira Tawaza and Buddy Murphy and they're just pretty much the same. <laughs> of course Akira has to do that geeky smile at the end. <laughs> and Buddy Murphy's just pretty much saying that he beat all three members of the Rumble and one of them was Akira. Akira didn't even 
attempt to beat him, so what makes him think he's going to win this Sunday? Yep. Because so. his sound says, like, don't start nothing, don't start nothing, but he's like, I'm not, I'm not, you know? Yeah, so. Uh, then they sign the contract, just... I mean, that, who would I think? I think Buddy Murphy's going to retain. Or, or, a tight twist, Kira wins. But, yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, we'll just sign Sunday. Who would you think, who who do you think is going to win? Kira or Buddy Murphy? Tooth. Or, who do you want to win? Yeah. You want a uh, toothpick's boyfriend to win, Buddy <laughs> Murphy? <laughs> I know Alexa Bliss wants him to win. Oh, yeah. But. It's hard to say. That was 205 Live. I'm really, really sure, too. So, yeah. That's so, that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah.